Hey, it's some old guy coding again today, and welcome to my super messy desk. I always got like 12 projects going on at the same time, so it's always messy. Just ask anyone I've ever worked with currently or in the past. My desk is always a mess, just the way I am. Here we are with the uh, Smoonet uh, security camera uh, recorder, and uh, it was pointed out to me by a viewer that, well, I did an unboxing and install of an HD. I never did do the setup process, so let's go ahead and do that now. So on the back here, we have uh, the power cord, of course. Always use the power cord that came with the device. We have a USB connector, and that is for a mouse. Any mouse should work. I've got just my regular desk mouse plugged in here right now. Uh, this is a connection to your uh, uh, local area network and uh, can be used to, I believe, access uh, the device from outside the home. But we will look at that in a little bit. We have a VGA output, it's actually SVGA, and um, also a, a HDMI connector. Uh, I would recommend using the HDMI connector if you have a choice, but all my monitor, my old-fashioned monitor here has right now downstairs here is uh, this sort of a connector, so we will go ahead and use that. So I've gone through and uh, done a factory reset on this guy so we can go through and do the uh, software setup process. I do have my cameras already installed upstairs and we'll be blocking out some of those pictures just for privacy because I'm too lazy to take the cameras down. So uh, I don't have an HDMI recorder, something will record off the HDMI or uh, um, uh, SVGA. So we're just going to do this old school and just aim the camera at the screen. And I'm going to go ahead and power this guy up. I have this on a switched uh, outlet just so I can do this. We get the beep. And it should uh, momentarily go through uh, startup um, as if it was the first time. I'm just waiting for the cameras. <clears throat> now our cable is disconnected. That's fine. I'm just going to do this manually. I already have a password set from before. If not, it probably will ask you to do that. I'm not sure how to do a master clear on this guy, so uh, let's see. And then once you have that entered, it's not like you have an enter button over here. You have to click off of that and click OK. And then we have um, the client links, and we will take a look at that in a little bit. First, we're just going to get this guy set up. Enable boot wizard. I have no idea what that does. Let's just go next. So up here, we're going to set the time zone. And uh, honestly, I don't know where I'm at here. I think that's probably right central time zone. If not, we'll fix it. Uh, sync time, sure, we'll enable that. If it's connected to the network uh, and I can find a, uh, a time source out there on the on the web, it will go ahead and use that. Uh, the date format, we're going to leave like that. It's a year, month, day. English, uh, keypad type, I have no idea. So, um, we'll go ahead and hit next. LAN connection testing. Well, it's not got a LAN on it. Perhaps we should just go ahead and do that, huh? I've got my um, wire here, and I'm just going to plug that in the back of the box. Just like that. I'll do auto config. Healthy network, yay! All right, so now we're done with that. Can we do a next? Yep. And here's the hard drive that I have installed there. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, format that if we want. Now we'll just see if the <coughs> video cameras will connect. And there's a setup wizard down here, <coughs> which is what that thing sent us through right away in the beginning anyway. 
so that we can go ahead and download the uh, iOS client or the um, Android client. There it is. It's a QR scanner. Um, there's all sorts of these things on uh, on the App Store that you can download. So I'm just going to touch that guy and load that guy up. Then we're going to take a look at the iOS client tag there. Get it lined up in the square. Perhaps. Oh, well here's what I'm doing wrong. You have to uh, click the one you want to use, and I'm going to use the iOS one. Now let's see if we can scan it. And, uh, no. There it goes. So it loads up uh, this guy here. It's called IP Pro. So we'll go ahead and get that guy. Alright, I'll go ahead and open up that app here then. And it wants to send us notifications, sure. But then it wants us to log in. Hmm. Perhaps we need to register first here. So I'm going to hit register. There we go. And then I'm going to set up some pertinent information here. So what I've done here is I've entered my username, came up with a username, entered my uh, password that I want to use twice, and my recovery email. So we'll go ahead and uh, hit uh, return and OK. So now we're going to hit the plus sign and we're going to add a recorder. And we need to use the cloud ID now off of the um, off of the screen here. So I'm going to click cloud ID, and uh, let's go ahead and click that. Can we scan that then? All right, we entered a password, and now we have the option to hit this little scan button up here. And we say, okay, it's okay to use the camera. And we're going to go ahead. Oh, and we must have scanned it. So there we are. We'll block out that information. And we'll also say save. And we wait, we get a check mark, nice. And there we are on my device with no cameras attached. Well, that did the trick. I did the Wi-Fi ad, and now the cameras are all coming up again. <clears throat> it's probably because I did uh, um, the factory reset. And of course, we're not getting the camera that's right next to the device down here yet. Okay, so I didn't find this last one. What is that? Yep. So if you cover the screen, if you cover the lens of the camera here, it will uh, turn the um, LEDs on so you can see that it's working. So let's go ahead and try that search again. So we'll do it right like this, and it's Wi-Fi add and uh, so searching IP cam information. Ah, there it is. There we have that extra one. There it is right there and it's, uh, you know, looking at me now. With a delay, of course. So there's that. The cameras are all set up. And we'll have to block some of these out. Well, we can take a look at that one. There we are. <laughs> So let's go ahead and continue to work on the app on the phone here and see if we can connect with that now. <clears throat> so I'm just going to turn that screen off so I don't have to block the entire view. So here we are back with the uh, 
to the device uh, with with the uh, iOS device. That's my device. There we go. I touched my device, and now here we are. We can see all the cameras out there. So let's take a look at some of the other settings on here that we can configure on the um, on the Smoonet uh, controller. Okay, so let's go into the system setup. There's the channels. Let's go to the channel setup. What do we want to do? Let's go to the video detection setup. And uh, here we're set up. Uh, we can look at each of these channels individually. We're set up for motion. Sensitivity is high. And the uh, it will record for five seconds uh, after uh, the alarm or after the detection. It looks like you can set that to quite a quite a few different things. You can edit the area on the camera. Apparently, um, there is also some other functions. You can do an email notice. Let's see if we can. Uh, what happens if we set that up? Apply. Is there an email configuration here someplace under the network setup? Email right here. Enable email function. Well, obviously it's possible. <laughs> I don't know what the SMTP server is for my email service. And uh, so anyway, certainly you can go through and set that up and receive an email uh, when something happens. Whether there's an image included or not, I don't know, but uh, you can certainly play with that. Um, there's a lot of other functions here. Uh, there is no audio on this system, by the way. Uh, the cameras don't have any audio, so um, you try to turn the volume up, but it's not going to do any good. Uh, fast network. Let's see. No, here. How do we get out of that now? There. Click the click the left mouse button. So if we go to video manager. Let's go ahead and see if we can search for. Um, it's probably not what we want. Let's go to look at. Uh, video playback. We'll do a manual search. So here we can go ahead and pick the cameras we're looking for. We're looking for motion, time. Uh, so let's just go ahead and search. And look, we've got activity here. Uh, let's go ahead and just click something. Say playback. And uh, there's some playback. The fan's moving up here. It's probably detecting that. So it's uh, in the bedroom. My messy bedroom, of course, too. So we'll escape out of that. All right. So if you do have specific questions or something else I can help you with on the setup of this, certainly uh, let me know. Uh, give me a message if you have questions, and uh, we'll we'll try to take care of it for you. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for commenting, and uh, I appreciate all the subscribers and viewers. Uh, thank you very much. See you next time.